Well, good morning, folks. Uh, there at Portside in Myrtle Beach. Hopefully, you are doing well today. My name is George Vastine, and we're going to do a little devotion here and sing a song for you this morning to get you started on your way. Let's say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. All right, today uh, we are looking at Second Peter uh, chapter 1, verses 2 through 8. So chapter 1, verses 2 through 8. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. According to his divine power hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that hath called us to glory and virtue, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust, and beside this, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue, and to virtue knowledge, and to knowledge temperance, and to temperance patience, and to patience godliness, and to godliness brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness charity. For if these, these things be in you and abound, they make you that you shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. We will go ahead and read um, from our daily bread at this time. Unimaginable Promises for February the 21st, 2021. In our moments of greatest failure, it can be easy to believe it's too late for us, that we've lost our chance at a life of purpose and worth. That's how Elias, a former inmate at a maximum security prison in New York, described feeling as a prisoner, I had broken promises, the promise of my own future, the promise of what I could be. It was Bard College's prison innovative college degree program that began to transform Elias's life. While in the program, he participated on a debate team, which in 2015 debated a team from Harvard and won. For Elias, being a part of a team was a way of proving that these promises weren't completely lost. A similar transformation happens in our hearts when we begin to understand that the, God, that the good news of God's love in Jesus is good news for us too. It's not too late. We begin to realize with wonder, God still has a future for me. And it's a future that can neither be earned nor for, forfeited, dependent only on God's extravagant grace and power. A future where we're set free from the despair in the world and in our hearts into one field with his glory and goodness. A future secure in Christ's unimaginable promises, and a future transformed into the freedom and glory of the children of God. Why can it be difficult for us to accept unearned grace and love? I don't know if you've ever thought about that, but it is difficult for us at times to receive love or unearned grace from someone. Uh, we sometimes wonder, we think we don't deserve it, and sometimes we wonder uh, what the other person wants out of it if they give it to us. And then the question, how does it touch your heart to consider that in God's eyes, you have a future filled with unimaginable beauty? Well, hopefully it makes you feel pretty good. It's hard to grasp at times, but hopefully it makes you feel pretty good that all is not lost, that God has made promises to us, and he will keep them. All right, well, speaking of promises, 
we're going to sing Standing on the Promises. This song was written in 1885. I don't know if you've ever heard it. Hopefully you have. And if you have, you can sing along with me. Standing on the promises of Christ my King Through eternal ages let His praises ring Glory in the highest I will shout and sing Standing on the promises of God Standing, standing Standing on the promises of God my Savior Standing, standing I'm standing on the promises of God Standing on the promises that cannot fail When the howling storms of doubt and fear assail By the living word of God I shall prevail Standing on the promises of God Standing, standing Standing on the promises of God my Savior Standing, standing I'm standing on the promises of God Standing on the promises I now can see Perfect present cleansing in the blood for me Standing in the liberty where Christ makes free Standing on the promises of God Standing, standing Standing on the promises of God my Savior Standing, standing I'm standing on the promises of God Standing on the promises of Christ the Lord Bound to Him eternally by love's strong cord Overcoming daily with the Spirit's sword Standing on the promises of God Standing, standing Standing on the promises of God my Savior Standing, standing I'm standing on the promises of God Standing on the promises I cannot fall Listening every moment to the Spirit's call Resting in my Savior as my all in all Standing on the promises of God Standing, standing Standing on the promises of God my Savior Standing, standing I'm standing on the promises of God All right, folks, that's one thing we can do is stand on the promises that God has made us. Hopefully everything goes well with you this week, and God bless you. We will see you next Sunday. Have a great day.